Okay, that was great. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Schaefer and I are here today to speak with you about two major Christian uh, figures that we didn't have a chance to discuss in class. And the first of those is uh, Saint Jerome. And for you, I want you to really think of Jerome as a translator. And if you remember, the Roman Empire was united by the Mediterranean Sea. But in some senses, it was divided by having two major languages, Greek in the East and Latin in the West. And because the Gospels were written in Greek, and because the rules of Pacomius were written in Greek, Christianity was, it's not fair to say it was a Greek religion, uh, but it's fair to say that Greek was definitely the language of Christianity. Um, and so what Jerome did is Jerome translated both the Bible and the rules of Pacomius into Latin. And this allowed both the Bible and the rules of Pacomius to be accessible to people in the West who did not know Greek. Um, these were the common people. And so the name of Jerome's Bible is the Vulgate because vulgar in Latin means the common people. So this was the common Bible, the Bible that the normal people in the West could read. Obviously also then monasteries are going to expand in the West because normal people can form monasteries. The second person I'd like to talk to you about and how impressive are these special effects with these signs the second person I'd like to speak with you about is St. Augustine. And Augustine, well, if what Jerome does is he makes Christianity accessible to the common man in the West, St. Augustine makes Christianity interesting to the intellectuals. Uh, he is the greatest practitioner of Christian theology. And theology is the study of religion. So I would say that St. Augustine's biggest contribution is that he makes Christianity something that you can study in a rational way. And the big book of his that achieves this is a book that's called The City of God. The reason why it's called The City of God is because Augustine claims that there are two cities. There's the city of God and there's the city of man, just in the same way that Jesus said, you can serve heaven, where you can serve your master on earth, but there are two distinct worlds. So Augustine's book, The City of God, introduced uh, essentially a philosophical way of looking at Christianity. Um, so those are the two, two men, the two main thinkers that we didn't get to talk about in class, but that you should consider as part of the story of the spread of Christianity in the Roman Empire. Thank you so much. Thank you.